Hello! Um, what I'm going to be showing you here is a ESL match. A ESL stands for Electronic Sports League. And I am currently first on the 1v1 league. Now this is a 1v1 Pro League, which uh, has just started. And the person I'm playing against here is second in the world. Now, what I'm going to be doing is giving you tips throughout the um, match, which you can use if you wish. And I hope it's just a generally entertaining video. So here we go. I've just damaged his worm. I threw, threw a grenade onto his worm. His worm bounced into a mine and it took a lot of health off. That's something what you always want to aim to do. Try and hit chain hit chain events. So basically hit one of the worms into a mine. The mine hurts them as well as you hit. It's pretty much like having two goes. There we go. He just wasted his uh, rope getting up to me there. Not a good thing to do. Not in the first map. On the first turn, you, you want to save your ropes. You only get two of them, and they're vital for traveling around the map. Now, what I'm going to do here is select my grenade, select it to five seconds to make sure the grenade lands before it blows up. And there we go, straight in. Boom. 45 damage. And also, as an added bonus, his worm is now stuck in that hole. So his next turn, he has to use it to escape, rather than damaging my worm. So he's going to escape, he's going to choose to use this sing rope. I don't see why, he could have blow torched out the side and then saved his rope. But he decided to use the sing rope. And going for a risky tactic here, and there we go. Didn't pay off. Now, what I'm going to do here is climb the taxi and place a mine. The good thing about mines are that they don't roll, for one thing. You can place a grenade there and it'll go down the taxi and not hit him. And the other thing is you can place it at such an angle it pretty much projects the enemy worm. I could, you could see there, I was trying to get him on that mine, slightly missed. Not the end of the world, I'm still winning. Now here, he's trying to use a parachute to jump across onto the hot dog. Uh, what he should have done is done a double back jump, he might have made it then. Or at least that's, I think that's what he's doing. Um, personally, I'd just fire a bazooka or something. I wouldn't use a, a parachute to get to the other side. Anyway, he's just thrown a grenade up uh, and killed one of my worms. I'm still winning, but he's got the higher worm count. So I'm just going to. Do the right thing and even it up. There we go. A worm for a worm. Oh dear. Now, right now I've got the high ground on pretty much all my worms. Yeah, I've got the high ground for all my worms. The high ground is very important in pro because basically most of the weapons use gravity and it's easier to shoot up I mean it's easier to shoot down than it is to shoot up as you can see there he didn't it wasn't very effective so also because I've got the high ground I can choose whether to jump down or not here I choose to jump down using a parachute because another shot up there 
and my worm gets land on that mine. And that's good night worm. So here I go. Falling down. Jump across onto the hot dog. And I'm gonna use the shotgun. You get two shots with it, 25 damage per shot. Right. That's 50 damage. And what you can do. He just had his go with that worm, so I'm going to put my worm next to his worm. So my worm is effectively safe for another two turns. Uh, unless he decides to kamikaze his worm, basically. Which is what he's going to do here. It, you know, it, he knows he can't hurt my worm without hurting his own worm, so... What does he say? Fuck it. There we go, on the mine, two dead worms, instead of one. I'm happy with that trade-off. He's now got two worms badly injured, and I've got two worms on high ground and full health. This is looking good for me. And he knows it. Oh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish off this worm over here, using the grenade. And good night worm. Now he's got one worm, a single, a simple rope swing here from me, and the dynamite should finish this game. And it'll be the end, basically. I would have won, he would have lost. And instead, what he decides to do is teleport and hide. Not very honourable, really. Yeah. It gets to the point now where he's just wasting both our time. It's not fun trying to hunt down a worm like that. It's, it's not challenging, it just takes time. And he knows it. So what I'm going to do is use my two ropes, which I have saved for this very occasion and blow him up but unfortunately what happens is a small glitch in the game and my rope stops working and I fall and I lose my turn that's the main thing here, I've lost my turn I, I don't really care about the 3 health it, it's just the time now he's got another turn to burrow even deeper There we go. Not doing anything really, he's just buying himself time. What I'm going to do is just throw a grenade into the hole. Exposed him, and now he's got one more choice. And that's to put down a sentry turret. And basically, what, what the sentry turret does is it um, detects any movement. So, say I was walking my worm and it went into the radius of a sentry turret, the sentry turret would shoot my worm and I'd lose my go. So, here it goes, putting it down in a fairly good position. You know, there's no way I can get to his worm with that gun there. So what I'm going to do is use the shotgun, which has two shots, to make an alternative route, which bypasses his gun. Kind of like an insurance policy, if uh, destroying the gun doesn't work. So here we are, not much else to talk about with this match, it's more or less over. He's going to try and damage my worm using a homing missile. The important thing about homing missiles is to fire it powerfully enough so it doesn't like crash on the ground 
but not too powerful, so it doesn't fly into the ceiling. Um, what I'm going to do here is shoot his sentry to it off the hot dog and blow it up because it lands in water. Boom. Now, by all stretches of the imagination, this game is over. I've won. Nothing he can do. And what does he do? I'll, I'll let you see if you can guess. That's right. He actually put a girder down. I'm starting to think this guy is actually taking the piss now. In the desk, what do I do? I teleport next to him. Now by teleporting in the tunnel, it means he can't move. He can't get out the tunnel and that means he can't use explosives without killing his own worm. Um, the only thing he can really do is try and blow torch me uh, through the ground and into the water. But it's not the right circumstances for that. To, for this to work, he'll have to um, push me against the corner so my worm uh, doesn't slide up the ramp. Now I've got one more turn with my other worm before I can finish him basically. So, not much to do apart from place down a sentry to it. There we go. Sentry to it placed. Bit useless, really. No, he's probably going to attempt to do the blowtorch again. He's going to fail because I win this game. Now, this player actually made a complaint after this game saying it was too laggy and said to the admin, oh, this game was just a test to um, basically test the lag. And as you can see, uh, as everyone can see, it's just not. It, it, this is a full game and he's simply a liar and trying to cheat his way out of losing. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this and see you on the battleground.